Alright, hello guys, and welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the potential for a major upcoming winter storm that's expected for portions of the central and the eastern United States. I'll likely see a lot of really heavy snowfall that could be possible with this storm, along with the potential for significant icing and heavy rainfall, which could lead to possible flooding in much of the central and eastern United States. Uh, so we'll be talking about that in today's video. Before I do hop into this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you like my videos and want to see more. I'll be sure that if you do subscribe, if you turn that notification, bell on uh, and also be sure to drop a like on the video and share this video out if you want other people to see it as well and also for today's video be sure to write a comment down below um if you like the audio for today's video i am using a microphone so just be sure to write a comment down below so i can see um if you guys like the audio uh, as opposed to our previous audio uh, let's hop right into it let's take this to uh, midnight of next wednesday here sir uh, uh 12 a.m uh next wednesday here we're gonna see a 1002 millibar low pressure system uh low pressure center center over northern Northern uh, Kansas at this time here. Our snowfall is going to be in eastern uh, Wyoming at this time here. This is going to be our first storm. Um, it's going to be a much more minor snowstorm. It's a lot less major than we were seeing earlier, uh, but we do have the potential for a more major upcoming winter storm after that. This is going to be by 6 a.m. Uh, Wednesday morning here. Um, we're seeing some light to moderate snow going on throughout the Rockies into uh, South Dakota at this time here. To the east, though, where this warm air is making its way into the system, uh, you can see that all of this is going to be rain at this time, which could be locally uh, moderate, maybe even heavy in western Wisconsin. Uh, this would be by noon uh, next Wednesday here. We're going to see a 1,001 millibar low pressure center centered over uh, western Iowa at this time here. Uh, most of our snow is going to be in northern Wisconsin at this time here. Uh, with the sleet or freezing rain mixture here in western upper Michigan and northern Wisconsin uh, to the east where this warmer air is making its way into the system. Uh, we will see a lot of rain that is going on here um, surrounded by our 1001 low pressure center. So um, this would be by 6 p.m. on Wednesday here. Uh, we're going to see a lot of our heavier freezing rain picking up here in portions of the north central upper Michigan here and northern Wisconsin at this time. The heaviest of our snow would be in western upper Michigan. Um, and this is really going to be the end of our first system. We'll kind of see it all taper off to rain. Uh, maybe some freezing rain that could continue here. Uh, but a much uh, more minor snowstorm than we were originally seeing. However, our next system will drop higher totals onto that. So here would be uh, by not, or this would be uh, just a little bit less than a week from now. So this would be by uh, 12 a.m. next Saturday. Um, and this is going to be the developer of our second system here. We're going to see a lot of widespread heavy rainfall here going on in northern Oklahoma. A lot of Kansas, central Missouri, western Illinois here. Also some of the eastern uh, Kentucky and southern Ohio. Uh, we're seeing a lot of heavy snowfall as well throughout eastern Iowa and northeastern New Mexico at this time. This is all going to work its way northeast. Um, so this would be by 6 a.m. Saturday morning here. A lot of heavy snowfall there going on in some of southeastern Wyoming, northeastern New Mexico, maybe even the far, far south uh, or north uh, western uh, part of the Texas pan or the uh, Oklahoma panhandle here. Uh, just to the east where warmer air is making its way into the system. Our rain is starting to die down a little bit here. Uh, however, we are still seeing some pockets of heavy rainfall. Uh, we're also seeing an area of uh, light snowfall here going on throughout central Illinois, uh, central Indiana, and central Ohio here. Uh, here would be by uh, 12 p.m. here on Saturday. Uh, we're going to see a 1,005 millibar depression center centered over northern Texas at this time here, along with some heavy snowfall in southeastern Colorado, southern Nebraska, and northern Kansas at this time. A lot of uh, rainfall to the east, which could be locally heavy in spots here. Also an area of freezing rain going on throughout Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Missouri, and Iowa at this time. It will be by 6 p.m. on Saturday here. Um, most of our heavy snowfall is making its way into western Kansas at this time here, along with southeastern Colorado. A widespread area of heavy rainfall going on throughout Missouri, uh, northern Arkansas, and eastern Texas at this time, actually working its way into uh, uh, Illinois at this time here. Just to the north, also an area of freezing rain. Our freezing rain is really going to start to ramp up by about, uh, by about midnight on Sunday here. Um, this is about a week from today, um, and we're going to see a lot of um, heavy freezing rain here throughout northern Illinois, northwestern Indiana, and eastern Iowa at this time here. The Most of our heavy snow, however, is going to be in eastern Nebraska uh, at this time here is where we're going to see the heaviest of our snowfall, with the heaviest of our rain forming sort of a squall line here. 
all the way throughout northern Louisiana through Arkansas, and then getting a little bit less organized, but wi more widespread heavy rainfall throughout Missouri, another area in Illinois as well before it makes that transition to heavy freezing rain here. So here would be by 6 a.m. Uh, next Sunday morning here. A lot of widespread heavy freezing rain going on throughout northern Illinois, uh, southern Wisconsin uh, here, and then all of the uh, southern Lake Michigan here. Uh, could be getting on some very heavy freezing rain. In just a second, we're going to look at our uh, total accumulated freezing rain maps here, and they are very significant uh, for portions of northern Illinois here, especially, and this is very evident by this model that we're looking at here. Uh, so here would be by about uh, t uh, 12 p.m. here on Sunday. So this would be by about noon Sunday. Uh, we're seeing a lot of our heavier freezing rain making its way into western Michigan at this time here, with the heaviest of our snowfall being in northern Wisconsin, uh, eastern Minnesota at this time here, especially northwestern, northeastern Wisconsin is getting it on the heaviest of our snowfall. It's going to be a 1,002 millibar low pressure center centered over uh, western Illinois this time here. We still have a squall line of heavy rainfall moving from the Gulf states all the way up into Michigan at this time here. Um... So here would be by 6 p.m. on uh, uh, Sunday evening here. Um, we're going to see a 1,000 millibar pressure center centered over northern Illinois at this time here. The heaviest of our precipitation, uh, at least our frozen precipitation, is going to be in northern Michigan at this time here. Uh, where it's going to be a combination of locally heavy freezing rain and potentially locally heavy snow here. Uh, we're still seeing an area of heavy rainfall to the south, especially for northern Georgia, eastern Tennessee, and eastern Kentucky here. Um, so here would be by 12 a.m. Monday morning. Or no, <laughs> sorry about that. That was the end of our model run, actually. Um, so this is our total accumulated freezing rain in QPF in inches here. Um, so this would be the amount of freezing rain that we are supposed to get until about, this would be by, uh, I believe, this would be by about 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Tuesday. So next Tuesday here, we're supposed to get a lot of freezing rain throughout northern Illinois here. Many areas could be picking up over an inch of accumulated freezing rain. Uh, so very significant icing is possible here throughout northern Illinois. Um, but we're seeing a lot of other areas that are getting on over a quarter inch of accumulated freezing rain in western lower Michigan, northern lower Michigan, northeastern Missouri, northern uh, Illinois, central Indiana, central Ohio, southern Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, uh, western upper peninsula of Michigan here. All of these areas getting in on significant icing, but especially northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin will be very significant uh, for many regions here if this model is correct. However, our GFS V16 model is definitely showing otherwise a much less significant and much less widespread here. Still a pretty similar area, except for northern lower and western lower Michigan are not getting in on heavy freezing rain, if any. Southern lower Michigan, it kind of starts here, but the heaviest of it will likely be in eastern West Virginia, western Maryland, uh, southwest central uh, Pennsylvania here, potentially northern Virginia as well. We're also getting in on over a quarter, maybe even over a half inch of accumulated freezing rain here. Also in western Upper Peninsula, uh, northern Illinois and eastern Iowa here, still a lot of pretty heavy freezing rain going on up until 6 p.m. of not this coming Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. So that just goes to show we have a lot more time for this to play out here. Uh, this is a pretty long-range forecast. Here would be our GDPS model here. This one is focusing most of its attention being on northern lower uh, Michigan here and also some of north central, especially central Wisconsin here. Getting in on the heaviest of our uh, accumulated freezing rain here, likely over a half of an inch here. Um, we're also seeing some lighter accumulations going on throughout the remain pretty much the remainder of Michigan, except for far southwest lower Michigan. Also an area in the interior northeast and northern uh, Wisconsin as well, getting it on some pretty heavy ice accumulations. Maybe some spotty ice accumulations in uh, southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa here. Um, and then just in a second here, we're going to get to our total accumulated snowfall mass. We'll get to that in just a second. All right, so for today's video, we're going to be using the Katura Ratio and in Inches map here, um, which is very useful because unlike our total accumulated snowfall mass, which is just using a constant snow to liquid ratio of 10 to 1 here, the Katura Ratio is also factoring in temperatures below 500 millibars here. Um, so this is very helpful in determining what snow is actually going to be on the ground. However, it is not going to be exact. We have the factor in comp uh, compacting and melting factors uh, that could go along with this, but still it's pretty accurate for finding accumulated snowfall. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of uh, very heavy snowfall there going on throughout uh, most of Wyoming here. We could be getting on over 24 inches of snow. 
Um, so over two feet for many of those areas, including northeastern New Mexico here. Pretty typical, though, for those mountainous regions. However, in western Kansas here, many areas getting in on over a foot, maybe even close to or just above 16 inches here in western Kansas. Um, and also some of the northwestern uh, upper peninsula of Michigan and northern Wisconsin. Some spotty areas getting in on over a foot of snowfall here. Uh, but many areas, especially for Wyoming, northeastern New Mexico, and western Kansas looks to be the center of our heavy snowfall here. Really anything over 10 inches is considered major. Uh, so many areas going on throughout Nebraska, southeastern South Dakota, uh, northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, and northern uh, Wisconsin, along with the western upper peninsula of Michigan. Many areas getting on an over 10 inch or over 10 inches of snowfall here. All these pink regions getting in on over at least six inches of snowfall. Uh, so it will be pretty heavy snowfall, our GFS model is indicating here. Let's get into our GFS V16 model here, and this one definitely has a lot to say. Uh, portions of southeastern Wyoming especially, we could be getting in on close to 44 full inches of snowfall here. Um, so that is a lot of snowfall for portions of uh, southeastern Wyoming. I know it's the mountainous regions, but regardless, very, very heavy snowfall. Uh, northern uh, Colorado as well. I believe I said uh, Wyoming when I was referring to Colorado in our last uh, frame here, so I apologize for that uh, if I was. But still, many areas in western Nebraska as well getting in on over 24 inches of snowfall here, getting close to 32 or just over 32 inches throughout western Nebraska even. That's uh, pretty significant for those areas there. Uh, but still, many areas all in these darker red shades are getting in at least over a foot of snowfall here. Uh, western Nebraska, southern South Dakota, southern uh, Minnesota, northern uh, Iowa here, and western uh, Wisconsin here. This applies to all of you guys. Uh, these darker pink regions here are getting in on likely over 10 inches of snowfall here, so still pretty major for those similar states. And all of these pinks are getting in on over at least 6 inches of snowfall here. Very, very significant snowfall going on throughout the western plains into the eastern Rockies. Um, this would be our GDPS model here. And um, again, this is all by Tuesday at 6 p.m. like our other models. Uh, we're seeing a lot of areas that could still be getting in on isolated amounts over 24 inches of snowfall here. So over two full feet in portions of uh, northeastern uh, Colorado. Also some of southwestern um, Nebraska here. Potentially northwestern Kansas as well. Some areas getting in on over two feet. Again, all these dark reds in, in, in the middle of these dark reds getting in on over at least a foot here uh, for western Nebraska, northwestern Kansas, and eastern Colorado here for what would be from this storm at least. But many areas in most of Colorado getting in on over that. Um, we're also also seeing some areas in uh, southeastern um, South Dakota, and also some of central and especially northeastern Minnesota, and also most of the upper peninsula of Michigan and the northern Wisconsin here, getting in on over at least six inches of snowfall here. Uh, so that would be our snowfall. We're also seeing some areas uh, also in the interior northeast that could be getting in on spotty amounts over six inches here. Um, so that would be our snowfall. Again, this is the Kachura ratio in inches. We are seeing a significant warm-up in the east, but of course, if snow is going to be allowed to factor in, uh, then those temperatures, of course, have to drop very significantly. Um, but because it's still going to be pretty uh, warm below those areas here for some of these areas, um, this would definitely have to melt into a different form of precipitation. So let's take a look at our total accumulated rain here. Uh, so this is quantitative precipitation forecast. Um, and just look at this. This is until uh, 6 p.m. of not this coming Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. Many areas getting in on uh, over 6 inches, 7 to 8 inches of accumulated rainfall going on in central Missouri here. Um, but many areas getting in on over 4 inches in all these gold regions here. So that would be for some of southeastern Kansas, northern, uh, uh, sorry, Oklahoma here. Most of uh, Missouri here, also western Illinois. All these areas getting in on at least over 4 inches of accumulated rainfall here. Up until not this coming Tuesday, but next Tuesday at 6, or the Tuesday after that at 6 p.m. All of these darker red shades getting in on over two inches of snowfall, and all of these pinks getting in on over one inch of snowfall. So, or sorry, uh, rainfall. Um, so, flooding could definitely be a pretty big concern up until that point. Um, this would be our GFS V16 model. Still, many areas could be getting in over, over four inches of accumulated rainfall. Um, and again, southeastern Wyoming here, but also southeastern Kansas, northeastern uh, Oklahoma, central Missouri, southern uh, Illinois here, southern, Indi or su southern Indiana, uh, northern Alabama, and northwestern Mississippi getting in on over four full inches. All these uh, darker reds getting in, or all these reds as a whole getting in on over two inches of rainfall here. Um, and many of these areas getting in on these pinks, getting in on over an inch as well. And then finally, this would be, or, or sorry, not finally, this would be our GDPS model here. 
Um, some areas in Oklahoma could be seeing over t- or over eight inches, maybe even over ten inches of accumulated rainfall here uh, throughout western Oklahoma. This is extremely heavy rainfall. Uh, up until 6 p.m. here uh, on that Tuesday. Uh, so very heavy rain is possible for these areas here. I think many areas in the uh, uh, in the southern plains here will likely see the highest amounts. Um, also for some of northern Texas as well, many areas getting uh, close to 8 inches of accumulated rainfall here. Again, all these pinks over an inch and all of these reds being over um, 2 inches here. And then finally, let's take a look at our ECMWF model. One thing I forgot to mention is I did leave this out. In yesterday's video, I included this for snowfall here because it was showing a very major, um, a pr- well, pretty major amount of snowfall in the uh, eastern Rockies and western plains. Uh, but since then, really all the snowfall, unless it's changed a different spot, has completely died out. So this model is... Uh, is not believing that we are going to have at least a major snowstorm here. Uh, it is thinking that we could have some rain, but also, again, the least widespread rain and also the least heavy rain. Still, some areas in northwestern Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma could be getting on over two inches of, of our accumulated rainfall here. Also, southern Missouri and southeastern Kansas as well. Uh, and also some of eastern Texas, uh, but definitely a lot less widespread. Again, all these pinks at least getting on over an inch of accumulated rainfall. Uh, so that is going to be it for today's video. If you did like what you see and you want to see more updates like this, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure, again, that if you do subscribe, uh, that if you turn those post notifications on so that you won't miss an upload when I upload for you guys, uh, be sure to drop a like on the video and share this video out if you want other people to see it as well as usual. But for today's video, be sure that you uh, drop a comment down below if you like the audio for today's video. Uh, as opposed to our audio in our previous videos. Uh, But have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video, Phantom Squad.